Soka in 2015 in Doha, Breedy in 2017 in Hamburg. Soka won his national selection tournament, which is how come he is here. And there's boxed a couple of Europeans as well in Kharkiv in 2017 in, in Ukraine and then in Samarkov in Bulgaria in 2015. Breedy boxed in the American Championships in 2017 in Honduras, got to the quarterfinals. That's his best result in a major competition. Commonwealth Games in 2018 in Australia. He competed there too. Big height difference there, you can see Tsoka of Hungary just towering over Breedy. Shamila Bukoeva of Kyrgyzstan in charge of this one. So Tsoka in the red, Breedy in the blue. Breedy straight across the ring here, trying to get up to Tsoka with everything he's got, sprinting towards him at times, looking to let go with a right and a left, rips with a left to the body there. Nice combination there though from Tsoka, just took his feet out as Breedy was on the way in, rattled off the combination. Maybe he was taken a little bit by surprise by the way that Breedy started the fight, but has adapted to it quickly enough. Breedy's just settled down after an absolutely frenetic opening 20 seconds. He did have a little bit of success as well boxing out of a southpaw stance Soka, tall orthodox fighter shoots that jab from low brings it back low right hand there from Chisoka. left hand a couple of left hands catch Breedy on the way in there from Chisoka. jab right hand again from the Hungarian and that's good because that's exactly what he needs to do Breedy has got to try and keep his head on the move get inside that reach and work on the inside, which he does there with some good body punching. Tsoka has got to try and catch him with a jab on the way in. Left hand there for Breedy, who slips underneath the right hand. This is good pressure from the Bayesian. Lovely left hand there from Breedy. And throws another one up top and a right hand to the body too. Interesting round this. As I said, there was that very energetic start from Breedy then Chisoka seemed to adapt quite well but then in the last 45 seconds Breedy has managed to get on top of him Chisoka struggling now to keep him off looked like he had the tools to do it earlier in the round nice couple of punches to the body there from Breedy left hand straight down the middle from Breedy, that landed right to the body from Chisoka, but a good round this, good to watch. He's bringing some serious heat here, Jabali Breedy, it'll be very interesting to see if he can keep this up for nine minutes. Chisoka is having to work very hard to keep him off, with varying degrees of success. That's a good left hand from Tsoka on the inside. And again, just setting his feet and looking to throw a couple of hooks. Digs his toes and looks for the uppercut. But he almost looks to me like he's tiring a bit here, Tsoka. He's been put under an enormous amount of pressure in this first round. There goes the bell and interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. It's Breedy's round. much doubt about that from where I was sitting four of the judges go his way the German judge goes for Nandor Chisoka who had a good spell it's a good work in the first half of the round as I said he looked like he 
he found the solution for for dealing with Breedy quite quite early on. He landed a few jabs, started to catch him on the way in, and then I think Breedy just started to move his head a little bit more, basically, and got onto the inside and dominated that second half of the round. Can he keep this up? That that is the question. You've got to be fit to fight like this, not just because he's throwing a lot, but because that upper body movement, that lateral movement he needs. Takes it out of you, stoops to the body there with the left hand, but then just gets clipped by a right hand from Chisoka. Just standing on the outside there, Breedy. Chisoka trying to reach with the jab, and Yang goes for a single right. Just hooking and moving off to his left there, Chisoka. Breedy's still walking him down, steps in, throws the right hand, shaking his head at Chisoka every time. Chisoka looks to try and land anything on him. Left hand to the body there from Breedy. Chisoka's left. Didn't really have any pop on it as he went downstairs with it as well. Breedy just leaping into a, a left hand. Chisoka hits gloves there. Go for a little walk here, Breedy. He's on the outside here. Hasn't been able to replicate that work rate from the first round, not yet anyway. Right hand up top, lands from Breedy. The referee jumps in for a standing count. Disguised that well, Breedy. Just shot it up late. Looked like he might be aiming for the body or the chest and then just slammed it up there's that left again from Breedy lost his balance as he threw the right Chisoka with an uppercut it's all a bit tippy tappy though here from Chisoka he's not really punching with a lot of authority He's landing scoring shots, but they're not exactly discouraging Breedy. I don't think he's really gained his respect at any stage with his with his power to soak up. Left hand on the inside there from Breedy, but he is landing every now and again, the Hungarian. Combination to the body there from Breedy. Left hand gets through as he just chases Chisoka along the ropes a bit. Left to the body from Jabali Breedy. And another one coming in behind a low guard and then just loses his feet as he comes forward there. No knock down, that was just uh, a trip. Bell goes at the end of round two. And again, it was Breedy who was on the who was on the front foot for almost the entirety of that round. Soka did manage to get some work done off the back foot, but I would say that's another round for Breedy. And it's exactly the same scoring as the first round. Four judges going for the Bayesian, one judge, the German judge, going for Chisoka. It was a closer round, I felt, than the first round, but still, for me, quite obviously, Another round for the blue corner. He did slow down in that round, Breedy, but the work rate was still high enough. And there was a standing count. Tosoka's got to go for broke in this final round now. Try and put it on Breedy as much as he possibly can and, and maybe hope that he gasses a bit. shaking his head across the ring at his opponent there, Breedy. He's been aggressive from the beginning. The start he made was was quite something. He was literally running across the ring at Chisoka. Chisoka flicking the jab. He's got the huge height advantage. Doesn't quite use it in the way that he might. He does flick that jab, but he doesn't make full use of that reach. 
Tends to lean in a little bit, doesn't really snap the jab. Breedy's found it easy enough to get inside that, that wing span and, and get his work done. One, two there from Chisoka. And that was better, a bit more, bit more pop on that. Right hand there from Chisoka, looking to try and put that one in around the back of the guard. Body attack, he was made to miss with the right hand there, Chisoka and Breedy. Got up close and let his hands go, heading up towards the midway point of round three. And Breedy's going to head through to the next round here, unless Chisoka can come up with something huge in the final minute or so. And we already know one of our fights in the last 16, it'll be... Tomoya two boy against Shakobin and Zoyrov and Jabali Breedy can go through here, then he will fight the winner of Uthida Patifan and by a Saikan and Amalangin of Mongolia. Those two are up next. Just working the hands there, Jisoka. And he has slowed here in this final round, Breedy, but it's not going to matter. That's still good upper body movement, though. As I said, it's a tiring way to fight. You've got to be really well conditioned to keep dipping at the waist like that. Final few seconds. Really lets go with a left. Jumps into a short left hand. That was a strange kind of punch. Breedy is going to go through to the next round. He was 20 points to 18 up with four judges going into round three. 20 points to 18 down with the other judge, the German judge, so this will be a split decision, it'll be 4-1 in favour of Breedy. Well, that's not our ring. That's not our ring. That announcement was from the ring next door, Ring A, which announced a winner in the blue corner. But so will Rishi, and he's second now. Jabali Bree, the goes through as we knew that he would. Some 10 8s in there, actually, from Italy and Guatemala. A couple of 10 8s, one each. So Breedy goes through. And next up we've got Patifan Uthida of Thailand up against Biasaikan Enk Amgalan of Mongolia. We're on the bus back to the hotel yesterday with the Mongolian team, checking a few pronunciations. For a strong side, been a strong nation in international amateur boxing for a long time. There's our left hand from Breedy. Good performance 